We'll be starting the program of today from Nigeria, where six Labour Party lawmakers in Enugu State House of Assembly have defected to the People's Democratic Party. Now, Uche Ugu, the Speaker of the House, announced the defection of the lawmakers while reading their letters at the plenary on Thursday. The lawmakers said the Labour Party had evolved into perpetual discord with various factions and broadened in legal battles, which uh, undermines its ability to effectively serve the interest of the people. Well, to make sense of this, I'm joined on the program by Dr. Abayomi Arabambi, the National Publicity Secretary. Uh, that's uh, Alaji Basiru Lamidia Papa, led uh, National Working Committee of the Labour Party. Thank you for your time, uh, Dr. Arabambi. Thank you very much. Uh, thank I'm you for inviting me. I mean, interesting times again uh, within the Labour Party. Uh, let me start by getting your reaction to a part of what the lawmakers who defected said. According to them, they said that uh, the Labour Party, which was once considered a beacon of hope for progressive ideas, has uh, regrettably become synonymous with internal squabbles. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Well, thank you very much. Uh, I think they were just being economical with the truth. A lot of them, they were in PDP, uh, had been issued before they came to the Labour Party, and all of them voted for that governor in Enugu. So we are not part of We are not part of You said all. all of them voted for the governor of Enugu State. I said Labour Party of Peter Obi supported the governor of Enugu against our governor. Against our governor candidate. Do, do, uh, I mean, do, we cannot be controversial on that. They already, they came with him from PDP. Can you back that up so in they any way? Already, they already have, you know, I mean, this player for PDP in Eboyin. They supported PDP in New York. They supported PDP in River. They supported PDP in Plato. They supported PDP in Quezca. They supported PDP. So, we are not new. They are just PD. LP. They are the PDP, I mean, people party in the Labour Party. So we wish them well in their soldier. And uh, I mean, uh, th this, of course, uh, is, is uh, uh, quite a, uh, much of a surprise. So are you saying that you are not surprised, you know, at the defection of some of your card carrying members? I said they are just, uh, let me say, temporary card carrying member of the Labour Party. They mm. came with Peter Obi from the Labour Party, from PDP to Labour Party. And like I started this task now, in Oyo, Rivers, Plateau, Enugu, Eponyi, the Peter Obi directed them to go and vote for PDP. So we are not surprised. In you fact, said Peter Obi directed them. Do, I mean, you, you, you keep making reference them. to Peter Obi. Do you have exactly. evidence to this? No, it's all over. It's all over. We supported. Gogu State, supported by Labour, uh, the Labour Party in the last election. You, you see them. Peter Bill was on air about Enugu. He was there in the River State. All of you saw him now, when he was in River, asking uh, uh, the governor then that give him the presidency. Let me give you every other thing. It's not covered. It's not covered. He was in New York. You saw the altercation. You know, they, I mean, he, he has there. He was in a point in Enugu. No, he's not. Don't want that one. It's just a new thing. Peter B is a PDP member in Labour Party, a PDP member in Labour Party. So we are not surprised. Even if he choose to go back to where he come from, we are not going to be surprised. That, that's a fact. Okay. I mean, because right now, I mean, I, I'm, I'm tempted to ask you, how deep, you know, is the division within the party right now? Because we know that there's the Apapa-led faction, there's the Buri, and uh, of course, uh, there's the OB movement. I mean, the Labour Party just looks like a hotbed of uh, political uh, division right now. I mean, how, how deep, you know, is, 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 this, is this problem? Well, I've been issue, we thought they came to rescue Nigeria. But later, we found out they came to rescue their pocket. They came to rescue their, most of them, their business, you know, that, that was dead before they came to rescue it. A lot of Peter B supporters came with two legs to the Labour Party. Some of them went with six legs. Some of them are private jets now. So we are not petrol, we are not border. They didn't come to the Labour Party because they wanted to rescue Nigeria. But now, what is the cause of the problem? Joe Ajero himself, as an agent of destabilization, wanted the Labour Party to be used as a party for insurrection. 
You saw all this plan, every little thing. They want to make the government, I mean, the, the government on government And we told them, please, you cannot use that party for insurrection. They should go back to Afghan. Or they go back to PDP. They we don't want them to come and dissolve the party for us. And that was why every of the action, you know, has shown that tendency towards them using the party for insurrection to overthrow democracy. But again, you, you, I mean, you would also not want to undermine the contribution or the impact uh, Peter Obi has made when it comes to, number one, the status of the party. I mean, uh, since his entry, he has been uh, able to, or his influence has successfully positioned the party as a strong or contending opposition uh, within, uh, I mean, uh, the political space. And uh, more often than not, even with all of the you know, rancor happening within the party has tried to distance himself. So why do you keep pointing fingers at him? If President Paul Ametinobu did not distance himself from APC crisis, if Atiku did not distance himself from APC party, what qualification did I mean, he will be out. Let me tell you the fact. He knew why he came to the Labour Party. They want to institutionalize our party as a regional party. He has his own mindset. And the mindset is not in tandem with our own belief. Now I'm going to put a poster. When Akure was arrested in Benin, Obi came out to condemn the arrest and said the chairman cannot be treated like a common criminal. Joe Ajero, when a receiving order was handed over, they said it was a forgot judgment. They said we are frivolous and we have no document, all our documents are fake. But today, all of them, you see them on here, holding the same document. Why will anybody be approbating and reprobating? They have their reason why they are calling Aburi. And when the center can now know, when the center can no longer um, no longer hold, they now backtrack. This is why you see Obina saying chairman should go to the north. You see Tanko is saying chairman should go to the north. But when we complain in 2022 that we cannot have present candidate, national chairman, the DG, the secretary of the campaign council, all from the south. They said, we don't know what we are saying. It shows that they have something that united them before, but that's all, I mean, that same thing has now separated them. Until when they explain to Nigeria, Joe Ajaro cannot pass vote of confidence on Julius Aburi just in April 17, last year. And to come back and pass vote of no confidence on him, he should apologize to Alaji Davide Papa because he's very sure that what we told them about Julius Aburi is a fact that he was involved in forgery, perjury, and criminal conspiracy. This is what, what they are saying. Peter Obi cannot call Abure a criminal because as at that time, when we have the upper hand, they said no court of public jurisdiction are convicted Abure. And that we stand upon. But now, I said Peter Obi to have at least turned down his apology to Alaji Labedia Papa. I expected Joe Ajero, who is behaving like nothing but a political terrorist, to have turned down his apology. Because how can you, as a chair and president of a labor union, come into the court on April 8th to even bully the judge, Joseph Mwazu? All of them are inside the court. I tell you that they were receiving court inside that court that day. Joe, Joe, I mean, Comrade to Guaja, General Secretary of Energy, were receiving court inside the court all that day, just for them, you know, to cause confusion before they now proceeded to the Secretariat. We had the power of confidence on Aburi. Because according to them, they said no court of public jurisdiction has convicted Aburi. And today, I don't know which court convicted Aburi, but the center no longer old, and now they are having issues. So I expected them to turn down that apology to Nigeria because I like Nigeria Papa is like a man who has seen tomorrow that where all of you are, you have no choice than to come back. But today, I like Nigeria Papa is fully in charge of you the said? party. Because you, we have you five said Alaji Lamedia Papa is fully in charge of the party. Yeah, because we have five motion for state of execution before the Supreme Court over the over the mass judgment, and we have also filed an appeal. And motion for state, meaning all of them, everybody involved, as of when we started, they need to maintain status quo anti anti -bellum. And this one is why we are telling N N the NSC that they cannot ambush the judgment of the Supreme Court. Supreme Court is the final habitat of any issue. Now that we have placed ourselves before them, and they are not a party before the same court, he needs to surrender. Else, we will be calling for his arrest. 
with you'll, the be calling, you'll be calling for you'll be calling for the arrest of who? Of Joe Adero. Because you, he must not be conducting himself in an act that is not to accomplish your peace, you know, to Nigeria. Up to today, Joe Adero has not concentrated with the federal government, with the Nigerian military and the Nigerian people over the death of those 16 gallant soldiers. There were more than gruesomely in a, in, a, in a delta. But you can see today, you can write letter to proclaim an unknown person as the BOT uh, national chairman. That was what you were concerned about. Because you were planning I'm to sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, Do Dr. Arabambi, you, you're, you're making quite a lot of, uh, you know, allegations. And uh, I must just uh, clearly say that this, of course, doesn't re uh, represent uh, the views of New Central. I would it love, if you can, it you know, back it. It is my view that Juadero wants to run for president. It is my view that Juadero is planning insurrection. Because everything that I've been doing in this country, constant and I like to accomplish your peace. That is Juadero. When we have a matter in the Supreme Court, why would he now go and be, you know, putting himself to ambush that judgment? If not for that, he just, he just because of his own selfish desire, his inordinate ambition and especially tendency was the reason why he was just facing that, that crisis. Okay, so let, let's backtrack a bit, right? Um, during the last elections, who did you work for? I voted. Unfortunately for Peter B. Why I did voted you... unfortunately. I never knew. Okay. I never knew it was parading a false humility. I voted for Labour Party presidential candidate. So, so, so you vote. Then it was, of course, uh, uni... it was a unified agreement that he was the leader. Of so... course, I voted for Labour Party. Okay, and that was uh, Peter Obi who was on the ballot, right? Of course, of course. Okay, what, what, if I may ask, why exactly did you vote? On what grounds? What, what ideology did you see? What were the things you were looking out for? Well, as a, as a party man, I can't vote against the citizens in the election. I get it, me? I okay. knew that election is not going to take us anywhere because we failed to furnish INEC with the list of over 45,000 polling unit agents. I knew even in my polling unit, I was the one that paid for the agents. Yeah, they didn't pay any agent. But you know, to fulfill all that just then, I voted for Labour Party. Okay, so, so I, I, I'm dream. sorry to cut in. I'm sorry to cut in. So you said you voted for uh, your presidential candidate then, that's Peter Obi. Of course. And at the opening of your statement, you said some of your party uh, members, including the six you mentioned, Walked against the party, so I, I'm just trying to you it's know make sense of this. No, I said for governorship, for being directed, it is not an allegation. I have video on the right on on channel where he said the obedience to go and vote for PDP. He said it. I, I am not the one that said it. You I said you have videos of that. I said I have his video where he said we my people, Mr. My people, you suffer. On channel, where Ms. Mabel Gung challenged him that, are you, not, are you sure these people, this thing is not an antipathy? He said it's not an antipathy. It's about character, competence, and integrity. And the PDP has that more than the Labour Party. But he came to tell us that he has integrity to the present election. But in the present election, but we put his gear into reverse. And now directed Labour Party members to be voting for PDP. And in Enugu, I, I'm sorry in that I'm, State, you I'm, I'm sorry that cannot be substantiated, but but I'm still going to go back no, to that. No, in River, you saw him with Wicked, you saw him with Wicked in Noyo, you saw him with Makide. In Cross hmm. River, you saw him with Otu. In Enugu, you saw him. In Ebo, you so saw him. So when you, I'm sorry, when you saw this, um, what I call it, division right now, what did you do as a uh, loyal party man? No, at that time, immediately after the election. Now it began the division. That, oh, now that his election is, uh, has come and gone, they should now go and vote for PDP. Don't forget, I said he came from PDP. So his loyalty is it here. Are you getting me? So even if he chooses to go back, we don't care. Revive, I mean, with reference to what is happening now, the only status quo we have in the Labour Party now is Aladdin Abidia Papa. They can continue their rough, rough fight with Abure because they were the one that said he's the same, Saint Abure. They cannot come around now to say, oh, Abure is a criminal. For us, we are not interested in that. We are not interested. All we are interested in that, they should always maintain status quo antebellum until when Supreme Court takes its final decision. Because the crisis we have in between Allah, Namibia, Papa, and Julius Abure, 
And Julius Zapore has the Taubi on his side. Julius Zapore has the NSC on his side. Julius Zapore has the obedience on, 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 on his side. So, on so whose on who's, who's, sorry, so on whose side is Alaji Media, Papa? Alaji Papa is on the side of the Labour Party. And who are those attracted, or who are those he's attracting? You said uh, uh, that Aburia is attracting the NLC, is attracting Peter Obi. Who is Alaji Alamidi? What, what level of influence yes. is he exciting in the party? Labor party? When I say Labour Party, I mean the entire Labour Party structure. Today, the question you asked me was that he attracted NLC. Where is NLC today? The, the, the power vote on no confidence on him. He attracted Peter Obi. Yes, the Takonuta said Obi said he should resign. Party told me that he should resign. Obedience should resign. So what has he attracted? He has not attracted anything. They were united by a common goal of political insurrection. So whatever the matter has happened between them now, they need to go and explain why last year, like I said, why last year they passed out of confidence. But today, they passed out of no confidence. That should be a reason for it. They should explain. But I know there is a lot more, you know, than me the high. There is a lot more. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Dr. Arabambi, uh, just permit me. Uh, the way you, you know, uh, sound uh, is like uh, someone who lost out, you know, of a context. And, and you appear pretty bitter. I mean, permit me. Um, how bitter are you? No, no, no. You see, the governor of Imo, no, the governor of Kano and Plateau State, they lost at the Electoral Pension Tribunal. They lost at the court of appeal. That just made them a bad loser. They still went to court on the day to court with that judgment. We are in court with Aburi. We are not in court with NFC. I want to say that. I mean, I want to say that part clear. We are in court with Aburi. We are not in court with NFC. NFC is not the owner of the Labour Party. NFC regional Labour Party does not make them the owner. And I'm going to start two instances for you. In section 77 one of the Electoral Act says. If, if a party wants to register, are you getting me? I'm with you. As, yeah, wants to register as a political party, has now become a corporate entity that can be sued and that can sue. And in the electoral, I mean, there's a section 22. Now, in the electoral, as I say, I mean, a chapter, I mean, a section 77, sub 1, says that. Any political party that will register must have membership. Their constitution must be submitted to the principal office, which is the INEC. The list of their national visa must be submitted to INEC. They didn't say you go and submit it. So when you register a company, it, it has a life of its own once they generated the constitution, which they now submitted. Like your TV station now, if there's any infraction, nobody will take your MD to court. Join with the company. The company is separate. Your MD is separate because it is not an entity that will guide them. Your constitution guides your TV station. Dr. Arabambi. The constitution you operate upon is not the constitution your MD will operate upon. Dr. Arabambi. So, the party has not become an entity, a corporate body, mm. to register that now has the life of its own because it does a constitutional provision upon which we are operating. All right, no, Dr. Arabambi, I'm sorry. I might just need to cut in. We need to go on a quick break. When we return, of course, we'll pick up from where we stopped. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. You're still watching the conversation on New Central Television. We are talking about matters arising within the Labour Party, where a lot of squabbles, you know, is ongoing. And, of course, uh, joining me to make sense of this is still Dr. Bayomi Arabambi, the National Publicity Secretary of Alaji Basiru, a Pampa led faction of the Labour Party. Uh, Dr. Arabambi, thank you for your time. Um, and, of course, I, I will still stand on my previous question before we went on that break, talking about what exactly is the objective of the mm -hmm. APAPA-led faction? What do you want uh, as regards mm -hmm. the Labour Party? What exactly the is the motive? of our APAPA faction is that no hijacker, no democracy assassin will take over the Labour Party. We will not allow all these political vampires. Why does the, why the, the APAPA-led uh, faction consider itself the bona fide uh, or regional or real members? I that is talking to you has spent 16 years. Apapa has spent 22 years. Obi has not even completed two years. Everybody will be talking 
the top people to be. Was it the one that brought him in Mipo as the governor? Was it the one that brought him again as a senator? Was it the what? Well, well, uh, yeah, we have won so many senators now. Was uh, uh, was uh, Mimiko not the governor in uh, in Labour Party? You said you said well, the party. You, you said proud to be sorry. You said proud to obi's uh, involvement yeah, as the yeah, labor party yeah, has produced yeah, quite yeah, a number of senators labor party. would you like to give a list of when of course uh, uh, i mean apapa was in charge and uh, the senators or officials that produced no it was during the election we are saying they are contending until when we finish from supreme court everything that was done was everybody joint effort for the 2023 it wasn't to be that did it because number one there was no fund for Mr. Peter Obi campaign to Labour Party. Our national secretariat, we, we, we contributed money with Taburi to sort that national secretariat. That was national secretariat. All our state secretariat, we paid for it, not Peter Obi or any of his colleagues. During the campaign, no cobble was released to Labour Party. Our agents were not paid. Or should talk was on air some time ago where we were unable to pay agents. Tanko said where we were able to pay agents. So wherever they, whatever they use the money for, we don't know. But as I speak, I know Peter Obi is still with Labour Party $15 million as he's saying it. And I know Peter Obi is Sorry. with Labour Party $20 Sorry, million. those are pretty weighty. You said Peter Obi is still with Labour Party's $15 million. $15 million, money from the dashboard. Because when that, he presented his do account... You, do you have Nigeria, evidence? I'm coming. I'm coming. When he presented his account, did you see any one dollar there? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dr. Arabambi. These are pretty easy allegations. We would have appreciated it if you can substantiate it with it is some my, physical evidence. No, let them come out to deny it. They have an account with Fidelity Bank. You saw, maybe you are not even following a crisis. Please go and read what Oduchi said. Go and read the letter he wrote to EFCC. I will send you a satisfactory copy. You know, they are in court now. A lot of our money have been mismanaged. How can we go to an election? And no agent will be paid. Is there any explanation for that? You are going to an election with people that are principalities in the election process. You want to do an election with Tinubu? You want to do an election with Atiku? You are not playing with it. You, you don't you don't pay agent. You don't upload the list of your agent. And you say you want to win. I, I, I'm, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I might just need to come in here. Dr. Arabambi, I might just need to come in here. I mean, Popular knowledge, right? Um, I mean, before the uh, last election, the Labour Party was largely seen as a, you know, regional party. Yes, uh, quite a we relative are success. Uh, that, please, let me, let me, this was prior to the, of course, uh, entry of uh, uh, let Peter me, let me you. Before it became, you know, a major thought force. So, my, okay, let, let, let's hear you. Let me tell you, Omar Gege was a senator. In Labour Party, if you buy the owner of uh, the, I mean, this, uh, this this oil, Mimiko was a two-time governor in Labour Party. When nobody was got money in the business, what did anybody now say? Oh, because of Obi, we have won as of red in 2015 in in, in Benue. We have won as of assembly, you know, in New York. We have won local government election. In some other states before Obi, Obi came. Now, what do we have from Obi? They came. Do you know what they call Badway? They came to Badway. Doctor, do, do, doctor, to, doctor Arabi, I'd like to say a big Labour thank you. I'm I'd like to say a big thank you for your time on the program. Um, I mean, uh, thank you once again for being a part of it. Just in 30 seconds, what exactly do you want? Cons I mean, for the Labour Party, according to you, to be unified. What needs to be done in 30 seconds? Now, if people that are supposed to set a crisis are unable to set it, we want them to go back to Africa. Let them go back to the regional party. Our party is not meant for the Igbo. Look at your Ajero. So are you... Announcing who? You, 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 our, you just made a statement our, here. You said your government. party is not meant for the Igbo. Yes, of course. Because so are you the saying the Labour party, party... Your faction the led faction no, 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 of the no, no, labor party no. is, is a what is a is it's meant for no, where we exactly the, no we have the north in, in labina pine wc we have the southwest we have the george but in their own it is all about Igbo knives so what is your own about <laughs> what is your own faction about nigeria 
It's about Nigeria because we are all complete. In but our you nation. appear to contradict yourself in a way. I'm sorry. But, but uh, Abu, by, by the way, is, a, is from a do state and is not even. Uh, no, I drive on that. But thank you so much for your time, Dr. Arabambi. Thank you. Thank we you very much. I appreciate your, your, your time on the program. And of course, uh, you've just uh, had the voice of Dr. Abayomi Arabambi, National Publicity Secretary, Al Haji Basiru. La Media Papa led faction of the Labour Party. We'll go on a quick break when we return this time around. We will be going to Senegal where they are having a new government. Stay with us.